be still there. The museum is closed. Now, would you please come out of there? Yes, 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 episode number seven. We are a week into this madness and mayhem of movie monstrosities. And yes, I used my poor, poor, very bad vampire accent because we are going to watch or review tonight. I already watched it. A wonderful vampire film from the masters of horror called Hammer. Yes, they do a great job of making vampire movies. And maybe a little bit of sultry or sleazy type of movies too. And the movie tonight is The Vampire Lovers. Yes, yes. So it would appear that a young, beautiful heiress comes into town and death follows. See, she's got an eye, an eye for the beautiful young ladies. And she uses her feminine charm as well as her vampire powers to get what she wants. And what she wants is the daughter, the young daughter of this well-to-do nobleman she weasels her way into the household and slowly but surely drains the essence of the poor maiden. She starts having nightmares of a gigantic beast atop of her, biting, scratching, and clawing. And the people, the doctors, don't know what's going on. Maybe it's an iron deficiency, I don't know. But soon, people get suspicious, and she goes through the, the, the family, seducing and manipulating her way to make sure that her evil scheme of taking this daughter and turning her into one of the s sisters of the night for her pleasure can be achieved. So, anyways, I mean, it's, it's a rough sketch of what happens in this movie, but honestly the plot isn't all that uh, complex. So I thought maybe I'll just give you a little dramatic taste of what's going on. But let's get into the scores so we can break this down in a little bit more depth. So violence and gore, two out of five. There's a nice decapitation going on there, but for the most part, it's not very bloody, and a lot of the violence is uh, a little cheap or non-existent. But yeah, you get some good stakings, so that's pretty nice. So two out of five. Shock value, honestly, outside of the head shop, there's not really much going on here, shocking-wise, except maybe shocking how much bush <laughs> The one vampire has, look, she's wearing kind of like a see-through thing, and it's just like, it's just like a, a, a jungle down there. Anyways, um, one out of five, one out of five. So plot, plot, here we go. I'm giving it a two and a half out of five, and honestly, it's, it's very, very basic. I mean, the, the vampire girl shows up, unexpected circumstances happen, and she has to stay with this well-to-do family, and this well-to-do family, oh, by the way, has a lovely daughter. The lovely daughter is enthralled and entranced uh, with this woman, and she 
basically feeds on her and of course uh, she dies and she moves on to another household but this one she feels more special affections for it so she wants to actually turn her into a vampire and the uh, the people in the household of course don't want death to happen so they start to wonder what's going on and they slowly piece things together and it becomes a race against time to see if they can't stop the vampire's uh, evil plan. So very basic, but I'm giving it, you know, I mean, very basic and, and simplistic, but I'm going to give it a little bump up to two and a half out of five because I do like the whole part of the smart vampire instead of just going around killing people because what she does she also seduces and turns people to her will which i thought doesn't happen that much especially now in some of the modern day horror movies you don't really get like the vampires you know basically manipulating people and turning them to their will basically making them slaves to her to her to her wishes um, so I like that. I like that aspect of it. So I'm going to give it a little, uh, a little bit higher than the two that I was going to give it because it's so basic, the plot in, in a way, and there's really not any nuance other than the whole, uh, manipulation thing. And I guess the whole lesbian thing, I guess, but whatever. Anyway, so two and a half out of five acting. I'm giving it a three out of five. Look, Horror is not necessarily, I mean, Hammer films aren't necessarily known for their awesome acting. And I'm going to compare this to another film that's related to this, Twins of Evil. Now, like, there is some great delivery and lines in that movie. And compared to this, it's really flat and the performances are, you know, somewhat basic and dull. So, you know... It's, it, it's, it's believable and enjoyable. I don't think it was bad, but I just don't think it was particularly great. So, three out of five. Uh, nudity, <laughs> I am going to give this one a four out of five. I mean, there, uh, you know, you've, got, you've got the lovely, lovely breasts of Ingrid Pitt. Very, very nice. And uh, some of the other ladies. But there's also the, the copious amounts of cleavage. And, uh, once again, sheer outfits and uh, some uh, bushiness. And, uh, you know what? Ooh, she does have a nice body. Like, you know, there's this bathing scene anyways. But, so anyways, I'm going to give it a pretty strong 4 out of 5. I mean, it's not, like, plastered all over the place. But it is pretty uh, sensuous. So, there you go. And my enjoyment factor, I am giving it a three and a half out of five. Not as enjoyable as Twins of Evil, which had like a great sense of humor with it. Um, also had just some like wonderful performances. This one is kind of just plain, except for the, the fact of the, the little cat and mouse added a good element and of course you know i do love i do love the the sensuousness and the and the lovely ladies and so yeah it's it's it and it's paced rather well even if it's an hour and a half long movie it doesn't meander and feels like it's it's going uh at a good clip so I, once again i I do love just the atmosphere of the old Hammer uh, vampire movies, the sort of gothic setting. You know, maybe not very scary, but intriguing and entertaining and great to have, you know, sit back, have some drinks and, and watch a, um, a fun Halloween-y type sleazy a bit um, good old fashioned, uh, hammer horror film. So three and a half out of five overall impression, three out of five. Yes, it's definitely not great. It's not going to be up there in the pinnacles, but yeah, it does a great job. It, it has a nice mood, a nice tone. I like the music. I like the sets. I mean, hammer really can nail it when it comes to the period, the costumes, the, the overall look and feel of the movie, even if the plot isn't the strongest, it's still an enjoyable time. And, you know, Peter Cushing, he is bona fide badass and awesome. You know, it's I will do it. 
And he's got the sword. It's the only way. <laughs> Anyways. So, uh, 3 out of 5 overall impression. And that averages out to be a 2.7 out of 5. I mean, not as high as some of the other films, but still a, a very solid score. So, there you have it. The Vampire Lovers. What did you think? Did you see The Vampire Lovers? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Leave a like. Share. Whatever. You know, uh, YouTube stuff, words, things, and nobody watching. Who cares, right? But, and, oh man, like I tell you, man, she is, she is, she is beautiful, and she will seduce you, and then when it's too late, ah, you will be dead. <laughs> Anyways, the vampire lovers. And that is it for tonight's episode of the 31 Eyes of Halloween Horror. And I will see you next time when I think of whatever I want to do for next time. So tomorrow night. And in the meantime, you guys stay sexy and stay safe and stay scary. And remember, you know, don't fall for those beautiful pair of eyes. Because behind them lies the cold, hard stare of death. Ha 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 ha!